Top 10 Korean Dramas Available on Netflix The world of Korean dramas is both bizarre and stunning in its beauty. K-pop, Korean movies like Parasite and Minari, and Korean television shows are taking the world by storm, and the South Korean entertainment industry is slowly but surely developing to become the dominant force in entertainment across the globe. The phrase drama refers to virtually any fictitious television series produced in South Korea, regardless of its subject matter or genre. This covers comedies, romances, science fiction, and horror stories, among other genres. Most of these television shows are adapted from webcomics, a kind of narrative media conceptually comparable to comic books and has its roots in South Korea. You can always count on a love tale, regardless of the genre, and most of the time, the same actors are cast in these roles. The following is a list of the top Korean dramas, original and not, that are now streaming on Netflix in the United States. This will assist you in diving headfirst into this emerging category of television programming. 10. The Silent Sea The Silent Sea is a horror-themed science fiction television series in outer space. The series follows a team as they investigate an abandoned research station where a tragedy has a place. When the team arrives at Balhi Station, they do so to retrieve precious samples that might lead to the manufacture of more water, a resource that will be very necessary for the future and expensive now. However, upon entering the station, they are met with unexpected danger. When Bei Duna and Gong Yu are at the helm of this cast, you can rest assured that it will be of high quality. The Silent Sea is a dystopian thriller packed with disclosures and betrayals spread abundantly across the narrative. This makes the book an excellent choice for binge watching. Its IMDb rating is 6.9 out of 10. 9. Narco Saints Narco Saints, also known as Suriname, is a show that fits in perfectly with the immensely successful American Colombian Narcos and Narcos, Mexico. Additionally, it contains vibes comparable to those of Ozark and Breaking Bad. The story revolves around Kang and Gu, played by Ha Young Woo, a businessman forced to work with the National Intelligence Service to take down a drug lord from Korea who has gained control of the country. It's a serious drama, but it's also a lot of fun, leaning into the strange character of the surprisingly genuine events that it's based on. The events that it's based on happened in Russia in the 1990s. It has a 7 out of 10 IMDb rating. 8. Business Proposal Kang Temu is a workaholic with an eye for detail who has recently been promoted to the position of president at GoFood. Meet Shin Hari, a new researcher at the company who has a major crush on Lee Min Woo, a friend from college who she has known for a long time. Jean Young SEO, Shin Hat Ri's best friend, is the one who persuades her to go on a blind date with Kang Temu in her place. This is even though Shin Hari's interests lie elsewhere. Things get more difficult for Shin Hari, however, when she discovers that she is on a date with her boss, she makes every effort to dissuade him from continuing the date. Things grow even more problematic when Kang Temu continues to believe that she is her buddy Jean Young SEO, even though she is unfazed by anything that Kang Temu does. Your desire for a rom-com will be more than satiated after watching the cute and hilarious Korean drama business proposal. This show has August 1st, 10 IMDb ratings. 7. Hometown Cha-Cha-Cha You need not look any further than Hometown Cha-Cha-Cha if you are searching for a timepiece that will make you feel fantastic. The series follows Yoon Hygiene, a clever dentist who lives in a large city. The story is based on the South Korean film Mr. Handy, Mr. Hong, released in 2004. Nonetheless, she relocates to a sleepy coastal village after suffering an unexpected loss of employment. There, she meets Hong Gu Sik, a compassionate man who frequently takes on odd jobs. The two have a chemistry that's hard to resist, making them into a difficult pair not to want to support. This drama has an IMDb reading of 8.5 out of 10. 6. The Heirs while it might not be the most innovative take on K-drama, the star-studded ensemble assembled for this production made it into one of the most popular Korean dramas in the world. In what is essentially a Cinderella narrative, or possibly a gossip girl story, Park Shinhai plays Cha Eun-san, a typical girl who finds herself entangled in the affairs of a group of heirs of wealthy families. 
Kim family is the most prominent of them all. Since she is the daughter of the live-in housekeeper, she attends the family's high school and resides at the same address as the family. There, she meets Kim Tan, the family scion, played by Lee Min Ho, and despite the odds, the two fall in love with one another. When the heirs was released, both Lee and Park had recently completed significant projects, and the show rose to the top of the ratings almost immediately. This a perfect example of Korean drama's aspirations back in the 2010s, presented as a time capsule. The heirs have a rating of 7.5 out of 10 on IMDb. 5. All of Us Are Dead All of Us Are Dead is a zombie horror series that is based on the webtoon Now in Our School, which Ju dong Gun created. The series follows a group of high school students who find themselves in the thick of an outbreak of a virus. After an accident at a South Korean high school leads to the release of a zombie virus, the pupils are left to fend for themselves and are walled off from the outside world by the authorities. Because they do not have any supplies and there is no way for them to get aid, the kids have no choice but to rely on one another and whatever other resources they can discover in order to survive this potentially fatal circumstance. The show is essentially a horror narrative, but it touches on various serious topics, including social problems. Since it debuted on Netflix in January 2022, All of Us Are Dead has quickly become one of the streaming service's most popular shows. It is graphic, emotionally taxing, and expertly made. This drama has a rating of 7.5 out of 10. 4. Hellbound What kind of response would you expect if giant demons went through the town, killing people and condemning them to hell in front of everyone? Badly. Worse than ever. To those who question my sanity, I ask, have you studied human history? Hellbound is Netflix's other ponderous and terrifying 2021 tale of religion gone bad, and it explores this central idea with a harsh and ruthless examination of faith and contagious social hysteria. Hellbound, directed by Yun Sang-ho, is a slower, more solemn affair than his smash Korean zombie movie train to Busan. Still, it maintains his gift for employing genre storytelling to ask unanswerable questions about the essence of humanity without fear or trepidation. Hellbound has a rating of 6.6 .6 on IMDb. 3. Squid Game You've probably heard of this one, which may even be why you're here. Squid Game, a Netflix original from 2021, became an instant hit and a topic of conversation at the water cooler, and its popularity has continued to soar. A clever twist on standard genre tropes and an outstanding ensemble cast make this an intoxicating binge watch. Throughout nine episodes, viewers watch as 456 financially strapped contestants attempt to win a life-changing windfall by completing a series of hazardous children's games. Squid Game is a series that explores the downsides of capitalist excess and the people it leaves behind, so it is only sometimes the most upbeat experience. The series is action-packed, has a horror tinge, and is laced with deep human drama. Like the best genre allegories, it subtly weaves its themes into the story without detracting from the non-stop excitement. It has a rating of 8 on IMDb. 2. Crash Landing on You Crash Landing on You, a love story between a North Korean soldier and a South Korean heiress, is now the most watched Korean drama on Netflix. Young, stunning, and filthy rich Yoon Se-ri, Sun Yi Jin, had the idea of paragliding over the weekend. A tornado catches her and carries her over to North Korea, where she eventually makes landfall. For fear of being discovered by North Korea, Captain Ri Jong Hyok hides and protects Se-ri, Hyun Bin. Jung Hyok and Se-ri feel something developing between them while he tries to aid Se-ri and sneak her back to South Korea. The fact that John Hayak and Seiri began dating after filming the drama only adds to their chemistry as the ideal Romeo and Juliet. There is no better way to dive into the Korean romantic comedy than with Crash Landing on You. It has a rating of 8.7 on IMDb. Vincenzo Vincenzo follows Song Jung Ki's portrayal of a Korean man who was adopted as a youngster and reared in Italy as part of a mafia family. After his adoptive father passes away, Vincenzo's biological brother tries to kill him, 
prompting him to return to Seoul, South Korea, where he has buried a large sum of money in gold under an abandoned apartment building. Unfortunately, Vincenzo can't get to the gold without destroying a building where people make their homes. When a shady corporation called Babel Group illegally occupies the building, Vincenzo joins forces with Hong Chai Young, John Yeo Bin, a brilliant and tenacious attorney with his motivations for wanting to bring down the firm. Vincenzo is a must-see show because it has everything, action, drama, and romance. It has a rating of 8.4 on IMDb. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Meet you in the following video.